Heyo everybody, Haku here with part 1 of 25 Jump Week. Uh, this is a, a nice full length one after the short one that was 24. Uh, so for part 1, we've got a lot to cover. We got this time for Torture Princess Chapter 107, Sakamoto Days Chapter 33, uh, Ayakashi Triangle, a new one I'm adding in. Oh yeah, this is going to be my first one adding in, Ayakashi Triangle. I'm so excited to add that to Jump Week. It's going to be wild. Um, chapter 54. Uh, Witch Watch Chapter 24, Witch Watch has been so good lately, and Red Hood Chapter 5. I'm really excited to see where that continues on from last chapter. So yeah, five really exciting series to get into for Part 1. And then in Part 2, we get uh, um, Don't Blush Sekimei-san Chapter 24, uh, Neru Chapter 4, Candy Flurry Chapter 14, and Blue Box Chapter 15. Uh, so this one's pretty stacked. There's a lot of really cool stuff going on in all these series right now. So, yeah, I guess, without further ado, I really want to get into reading these, so let's start off with Tis Time for Torture Princess. We've got ourselves Tis Time for Torture Princess, Chapter 107 to start with, and it looks like we're finally, uh, well, not finally, it ha it's only been like two chapters, uh, getting back into stuff with Princess, so uh, let's see what we get. We have Princess, Tis Time for Torture. Alright, Torture 107. Today's torture shall be tofu steak in torture. Health is wealth. Tofu steak. In, er, in place of meat, tofu was used. Tis quite a healthy steak. Huh, tofu instead of meat? That means it has no chewy texture and no yummy meat juices gushing out of it, right? You think that kind of meal can still make me talk? Oh, I'm hungry. I really should not be uh, reading this on an empty stomach. Tis as you say. Perhaps you'll go unbroken today, Princess. However, in recent days of torture, you've begun to put on weight. What? Ha, uh, nah, no way. It's only a bit of extra meat on me, not weight. Certainly just by looking at you, no significant change is visible. However, it, er, however, it is too late once you do start to see the weight. Much like with a cold, one must pay heed the warning signs as they come. And so, today's torture is low in calories. It's a healthy tofu steak. Tis more than torture. Tis your health that must succeed, princess. However, naturally, I have no intention of failing in this. I've done my usual best in preparing, and I came with this most expertly cooked dish. Please, give it a taste. Huh, those eyes. They look like they're ready to win the battle today. I'm ready for you. The character art is so good in this series. All right, then, I'll give it a try. I'll challenge your resolve and that crummy tofu steak. Suddenly, we're back to where we always are, and the rules of the battle are as usual. If it's delicious, she talks. Is this actually torture? Not just torture, but a fresh new taste. Hee <laughs> hee, a steak made from tofu. Can you really call that a steak? It's so soft and chewy. What's this fluffy feeling? Oh, tofu. I can feel your, your gentle texture in every corner of my mouth. And it has such an incredible Japanese-style sauce. The sweetness soaks into every part. It's so much different from any steak I imagined. Different, but definitely delicious. No, it's actually not a steak at all. This is a tofu steak. Yum, yum, yum. It goes great with rice, too. Incredible. I'm glad to hear it. However, princess, all that rice you're eating will contradict the healthiness of the steak. But you made it for me, Torture, and the tofu steak, they're both just so yummy. More, please. Goodness, what to do with you? Just one more, then. Yay! The princess had three more. Before an unfaltering heart, a substitution is never an inferior option. So cute. Aw, oh, man, I see. I can't wait to read the next one. I'm not going to have time today, because I still have just a bunch more in this jump week but the next one I see uh, Yoki in the thumbnail so I'm super excited okay well that was super duper fun as it always is it's it's so weird saying like I mentioned last video that I would love to do like a ranking of all the jump series right now I would probably put Tis Time for Torture Princess as my number one favorite even over the ones I give separate videos to even over the legend that is One Piece and over um, Hero Academia. On the week to week, Tis Time for Torture Princess is just like my personal favorite thing to read. 
Um, and it's weird that something I read in like three minutes can be such a huge uh, sort of part of this for me. But yeah, incredibly, incredibly fun. Gonna move on to Sakamoto Days. All right, we've got Sakamoto Days chapter uh, chapter 33, I think. Or is it 34? No, it's 33. Um, yeah, super excited to read. Like I mentioned last time, we might at some point soon be getting into a new arc. Last time it was just sort of a between arc slice of life kind of chapter that was really, really fun. Uh, so let's see what we get with, uh, with 33. This is a most critical mission. There can be no mistakes. We need a seamless plan. And all three of them are uh, looking on computers, it looks like. And we see a ship. Are they going to go on a cruise? I love it. I never imagined such a lovely lunch date to celebrate our anniversary. Well, it's a special day. We've never done anything like this before. Mission priority, wedding anniversary surprise. So cute. I, ho er, I sure hope the date's going well, says Sheen. It must be. He was super prepared, gift and all. When Mr. Sakamoto was all like, I have an urgent mission, at first I didn't know what to think. When it comes to Miss Aoi, the boss takes his duty seriously. Yeah, he's totally hung up on her. Well then, what do you suppose Miss Aoi loves about the boss? Well, duh. The fact that he's an amazing fighter. Now nah, I think she's into his voluptuous bod. Uh, the flowers are or the flowers are wilting. First aid, and he splashes some water. Gosh, I feel kind of nervous. Oh goodness! Thank you for waiting. Here we have a smoke duck that died trembling before a lion on the savanna. And then he looks around. No bombs. Look at you getting all antsy, without Sheen and Lou here. <laughs> Speaking of a sitting duck, the legendary assassin is just a harmless tubby in his wife's presence. We wait for the tar er, for the target's moment of weakness. Of course, there's always random assassins. Assassin Sekozuru. That's how a top-notch assassin operates, little brother. That's just like you, big brother. Cheap and dirty. Everyone on this boat is in on it, even the passengers. We'll be ruthless and thorough, wife and all. And Sekozuru means dirty cheater in Japanese. Like this. Actually, Aoi, today, there's something I want to give you. And the chandelier starts to fall. But he flips up the fork and pins it back to the ceiling. Great, an enemy on our date. Why are you so fidgety? Next. Well, Aoi, actually, there's something I want to give. Excuse me. Yay, your dessert. And he looks pissed. Owie, look at those pelicans outside. Oh? And then the guy tries to stab him. How adorable. So cute. And he just spaghettis his hair up. And sends him flying. And a leaping dolphin. Really? Where? Huh? What's this? Squid ink pasta. Oh, gross. Uh, what happened to dessert? He's too tough. Very well. It's clear that subtle, crafty tricks won't work. We'll kill them all together, or er, we'll all kill them together. Yeah. Owie, actually, I have a special present. Hmm? Huh? Did we do something wrong? Is it because I slurped my soup? No. They're the ones being rude. And then he pulls a gun. Eek! He starts dodging through the bullets, carrying Owie. This is the first time we've really seen her this close to the action, I feel like. They're trying to escape. It feels like a line is being crossed somehow. Idiot, there's nowhere to go. And he throws an anchor out. Wow, and it <laughs> wraps around all of them that were chasing after them. That's hilarious. Why does this always happen? Sorry. Up there. There's nowhere to run. Kill him. <laughs> You're cornered, Sakamoto. Are we? Yes. Up you go. Huh? Wait. And he just throws her, like, into the sky above the bridge. E and then he catches her back down on the other side and everyone's taken out. <laughs> this is such a great series. You could have warned me first. I thought I did. Owie, these are for... And all the flowers are destroyed. This, you bought me flowers? Uh, was this supposed to be a surprise? Why does this happen? And she pats him on the shoulder. Thank you. I really appreciate the lunch and the flowers. 
But you know, I love you without the special gifts. Remember when we first started dating? You cried when I made you a rice omelet. So yummy and warm. And it was just a regular rice omelet. Seeing how you enjoyed it made it taste better for me, too. When I see ordinary life through your eyes, it's full of surprises. And that's why I really love our ordinary life together. But it isn't really ordinary. I can even soar up way in the sky when I'm with you. I think that makes us a pretty special couple. If you like, I'll toss you up as many times as you want. Please don't. That wasn't my point. Welcome back. We're home. So, how was the date? The view was extraordinary up there. Really? You've got sauce on your face, Mr. Sakamoto. Sheesh. And he's sweating. Oh, hey, Miss Owie. What do you love about er, about the boss? Spill it. Huh? Well, I guess I love that he's a fast runner. Sheen, we need you over here. What? Sheen, we need you over here. Hey, get back here, Miss Owie. <laughs> so cute. Adorable. I love this series. So yeah, another really... I just can't wipe the smile off my face when uh, reading Sakamoto Days. Another extremely fun, extremely cute chapter. I like seeing more of Aoi because I feel like we haven't seen a whole ton of her. Um, so that was really, really, really wonderful. I like seeing that relationship. Again, it's not something we've seen a ton yet. Uh, but yeah, after this, I'm going to... Oh, I'm so excited for this next one too. I'm going to move on to Ayakashi Triangle. And now we've got chapter 54 of Ayakashi Triangle. I am so excited to add this to Jump Week. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff I've been reading on my own that I'm like, oh, when I catch up to it, I might add it, I might not add it. Uh, but I knew I wanted to react to this just because I feel like on the week to week, reacting to this is going to be insanity. Uh, the fan service is so great, like the fight, like it's just so wild and out there. The fights and the comedy are really, really great. I just think that reacting to, reacting to this is going to be hilarious. It's going to be so fun to do. Because even when I was catching up to it, reading it on my own, off camera, like there were points like every couple chapters where I would just have an insane reaction just like in life away from the camera just being like oh my god what what how are they showing this how are they getting away with this and it's hilarious it's so good um it's actually i've enjoyed reading it a lot on my own catching up to it it's super fun i think it's really underrated um it's, it's a really, really fun series. Um, but yeah, even like one of the wild moments, I think it was two chapters ago, um, friggin' Matsuri caught a clam to the face, like freaking um, uh, Suzu could have twisted her hips and alligatored the man. Um, for broke his nose. Um, but yeah, Ayakashi Triangle, super fun. I'm excited to see where this goes. Yayoi just learned about their secret and everything. And, uh, you know, what I was feeling about last chapter, sort of, since you didn't see my reactions to previous things, to build into what we're about to read, uh, you know, I like girl Matsuri. I am team girl Matsuri. So, when Suzu is like, oh, you know, I need to try to get Matsuri to transform back into a guy, I'm like, you know, just just let Matsuri, like Matsuri says, you know, maybe it would be better if I was a girl because of friendships and this and that. And I'm like, yes, just let it happen. Just let it happen, Suzu. We've already seen Suzu being a lecher over girl Matsuri. So if that's the case, Suzu can be fine with girl Matsuri. Matsuri doesn't have to be a guy. Suzu is, as Shirogane would say, a, uh, I don't even know what Shirogane usually calls her. There's like a word that he usually uses, but Shirogan is amazing too, is like sort of the straight man, the one that's always calling them pervs. Um, but uh, yeah, she's very, very uncouth as it is. So uh, let's uh, let's just stick with Girl Matsuri. What is Suzu thinking? Okay, chapter 54 touch. Let's read. Let's do this. I'm so excited. Um, what is Suzu thinking? Even if we're both girls, this is... And then... They're just laying there. Matsuri, are you awake? Uh, yeah. I can't sleep. Yeah? Me neither. And she rolls over. I forgot to do my stretching before bed. Can you help me? 
And then, oh my god, her bro Rita is his name. Rita is going to see this silhouette or something and get totally the wrong idea, isn't he? Once again. I have better dreams if I do this before going to sleep. Oh, I see. She's so soft. Can you hold my arm? Sh sure. Is it okay for me to touch Suzu's body like this? Usually. I massage my thighs next. Will you do it for me? And then, of course, more fan service. Is it okay for me, or it's okay for me to do this, right? Because we're both girls. And then, oof, more fan service shots. Suzu, ack! And of course, we have lewd Suzu thoughts. At least I'm pretty sure that's the one. Or I'm pretty sure that's the one that's thinking about it. But maybe, you know, maybe it's Matsuri thinking. Matsuri? I guess it was, because now collapsed over to the side. It's not good for us to do things like this. Because I'm a guy, after all. I know. Suzu? I guess my plan worked. A girl wouldn't let a guy touch her body like that so easily. You didn't, er... You didn't want to tell Yayo that you were a guy, right? And then you said you might be more suited to being a girl, so I was thinking about it. You have a girl's body, but... I didn't know how you really felt. I thought that you might have had a change of heart. I'm sorry. I used my body as a test. Yeah, maybe I've gotten so used to being a girl that I lost sight of the fact that I'm really a guy. Again, like, you know, you don't have to be straight. Like, like whether you're in a girl or guy's body, it's not like you're suddenly not allowed to be attracted to Suzu anymore. So, you know, I'm going to tell Yayo and Lu all about how I turned into a girl. Really? Why? They're my friends, so I want to make things right. Although, honestly, I'm scared about how they might react. Remember how we used to hold hands while we napped as kids? Don't worry. I'm here for you. Thanks. And then, I wonder, are they asleep already? <laughs> Rita sneaking up. And then... Seeing Marshmallow, how, how, of course, how Suzu sleeps, we've seen this before. She still moves around so much in her sleep. What's going on? What are they doing in there? Things, <laughs> things, uh, we have Shirogane. Shiro, leave those two alone. We told Yayo everything, about how I was turned into a girl by an Ayakashi Jutsu to protect Suzu. Whoa, you've been through so much, Matsuri. Yayo's such a great person. Not only did she not get mad, she felt sorry for me. But everything's a okay. You're still you, Matsuri. Although, we didn't, er, didn't we take a bath together? Oh well. I think I might as well tell Lou, too. Hmm, I wonder if she'll believe it. Oh, we have Lou reacting. You've all been invaded by the poisonous radio waves from minus space? As expected, she didn't believe us. So great. Lou is best girl. Lou is my favorite. Okay, that was a fun, but kind of low-key chapter to start with. Again, that's... I, we're starting with a chapter that's one of my only criticisms of the series, which is acting like, it's fine if Matsuri's like, you know, I am a guy on the inside, I want to get back to being a guy. Like I said, I'm Team Girl Matsuri, but if Matsuri wants to go back to being a guy, then, like, that's a good thing. But I hate this, like, pressure where, again, Suzu has been shown to be attracted to even girl Matsuri, where it's like, no, you're not allowed to, like, you're not allowed to be a girl anymore because we're, we're not allowed to not be straight. But it's like, you know, you're allowed to just not be straight if you're attracted to Matsuri either way. Like, it's one thing to, like, again, I guess it's, I guess it's a judgment of extremes. Like, for me, I think it's a good thing to want Matsuri to go back to being a guy because that's what Matsuri wants. But I think it's a bad thing to want Matsuri to go back to being a guy because you feel like Matsuri's not allowed to be a girl, you know? So, uh, yeah, either way, that's uh, my judgment call on that. But either way, moving on from our first chapter reacting to Ayakashi Triangle 2, which watch chapter 24, I think. And it is Witch, it is Witch Watch Chapter 24. Okay, we're on Chapter 24. We're continuing on with the Dogs and Raindrops storyline that's been really, really good. And uh, last time, 
Uh, Moe at the end was trying to figure out where Wolf was, so I guess we're really just jumping into this. Let's see uh, what happens. I'm a witch with great power. I have a thousand spells at my command. A witch like me is born only once every thousand years, making me the thousand thousand super powerful. Uh, what was it again? The Witch of Thousands. If I can use a lot of spells, I want to help a whole lot of people with them. But I was told that bad witches are after me for power. Or for my power. Right now, there's an enchanter and a mysterious man named Wolf after me. Nico's mental image. They started by beating up Khan. He's hurt pretty badly. That made Moe super angry. Dogs and Raindrops Part 3. So now we're looking for Wolf at school. Stop, come back here, you drop addict. He's chasing after the guy. Bro, what is with you? I don't know anything about Wolf. Moy, let me help. New smell or er, new spell. Slime lotion on er slime lotion gel amoebas. And then the ground just becomes slippery and they start falling. Hey, don't butt in. Got what the the ground suddenly slippery. Haha, <laughs> good thing I took ice skating lessons when I was a kid. Bet you didn't know that. No, I didn't. How could I? Keiko mug me. Yo, Keiko's coming in. And I bet you didn't know that I used to be a competitive figure skater. And he tackles him. Yes, good. Now hold him down. I have information that you were seen together with Wolf. Tell me everything you know. papa. Look, I'd spill my guts, but you've got my jaw locked in an iron grip. Loosen up some. I only ever saw Wolf once. I watched him beat the crap out of a guy trying to scalp drops. Then he told me to tell all the other dogs what I saw. Aha, uh -huh. he made an example of the guy to induce fear in the other dogs. I don't know anything, or I don't know anything else, I swear. What does he look like? Something like this, I guess? I see you didn't take art lessons as a kid. I love this running joke. <laughs> whatever, or <laughs> whatever, now get lost. Dude, you have to be so bossy. Oh yeah, there was one last thing he told me. I'll be calling everyone together before long. Okay. So, um, I kind of got sudden inspiration from Kago's game, and I thought I might, or I thought maybe I could make the ground slick so we'd slip and fall. That doesn't help if it makes me slip and fall, too. Still, it was a stroke of good luck that your hidden talent is skating, Keiko. Your game was a whole mess of slipping and skating, too. You're a master of slip-ups. Nah, it was no big... Wait, are you dissing me? Anyway, Kanchi filled me in. Sorry you had to go through this just because he saved me. Is there anything I can do to help? I appreciate the sentiment, but there's black magic at work. It's safer if you're not involved. I can reach Wolf via email. What? I went to that secret website and registered my info. According to the records, I'm another one of their dogs. What? How could you do that? Or how could you do that? The Enchanter is going to turn all drop addicts into puppets for their army. I was never actually going to take the stuff, of course. Duh. I know it's risky, but you now have access to more information, right? Why are you willing to go so far for us? I've been trash ever since I quit skating. My mom was driving me to a big competition my second year of middle school when we got into a wreck. I injured my leg. It's not enough to affect my daily life, but it did force me to retire from competition. You wouldn't think it, but people had high hopes for me. After I quit, I did. I I love that we're we're getting like can't go backstory here. Um, after I quit, I just didn't feel like doing much else. I withdrew into my own little world pretty hard. I even told myself I didn't care about having friends anymore. Before I knew it, I'd devolved into a lonely, annoying hipster jerk. You even called yourself that. But you know, hanging around with you two lately has kind of made stuff well fun again. And I. Jeez, just trying to say this is making me nervous. Um, it, it feels like I have friends, I guess. New favorite character, man. I'm loving this guy. If you want to know, actually rely on me and stuff. And I, or if you want to, you know, actually rely on me and stuff. I'd really like to help out. Understood. Will do. If you get any useful information, tell me right away. That'd be a big help. Ah, uh, Nemu sent a text. She says she hasn't found the abandoned house yet, but she's going to look again tomorrow. Again, it's kind of weird that Nemu doesn't remember where the house was, but I guess she was in a rush leaving uh, Nico's or Moy's. I guess maybe it makes sense. First Nemu, now Keiko. So many people are helping us out with this. 
I'm grateful. I wonder if there's anything I can do. According to Nemu, using magic to attack another is tightly connected to feelings of fear or anxiety. To prevent new witches from using their spells offensively, they all have a limiter spell cast on them that stops them from doing that. That means Nico isn't capable of using her magic in a fight. I'm starting to see why they gave her an ogre and a tengu for bodyguards. Let's come up with some good ways for you to back me up with magic. Okay. Suddenly turning the ground slippery without warning is dangerous, though. Let's rethink that and find another way, okay? Okay. And now we get Nemu. I really like Nemu, too. I still can't find it. But this park is the only place in the area that's wooden enough, or wooded enough to be it. I think what I like most about Nemu is her style. Like, her clothing choices and everything are really, really cute. Is it farther away? No, I couldn't have run that far. Besides, the warlock is likely being cautious about Nico's alert. They wouldn't risk wandering about too close to her without some kind of protection. Which means the likely answer is, a pocket space created by magic. If the warlock knows the spell for creating pocket spaces, they can make a door to it wherever they want. They'd put it in a spot where normal people are highly unlikely to go. Say, in the narrow gap between a pole and a wall, or the underside of a fence. But I was a cat. I was small enough, so maybe I accidentally found that door and dashed through. That's right. When I left that day, I was suddenly back in town before I knew it. I thought I'd simply left the park, but I'd actually gone through the door. I have a good idea of where that was. And now, I know to look for the sigil of a magic door. Oh? And what is this? What is this, then? Did he just take down a tree? Hmm. Taking advantage of this pocket space to wreak havoc as you like. Are you that impatient for attention? It's cause you have me doing dumb, boring crap like collecting a bunch of dogs. Ho ho ho, don't worry. That part is over and done with. Take our fifty dogs and find Nico Wakatsky. Bring her to me. Do it tonight. Honestly, I'm really hoping Wolf... Like, there's a chance that Wolf is an Oni like Morihito, and that's the way they're going to do their matchup, but I kind of would like it more if he was a little bit more creative, like if he was an Inugami or a uh, werewolf, I guess. Um, but yeah, either way. Um, take our 50 dogs and find Niko Akatsuki, bring her to me, do it tonight. All I've got to do is call the dogs together, right? Yes, it'll be easiest for my magic to manipulate them if they're gathered in one place. They're doing it tonight? And then Nemu tries to escape. Yo, that that hand-like image. Well, well, a stray has wandered in. Given where I placed the sigil, this is bound to happen from time to time. But there's something odd about you. You're a witch, aren't you? But why are you a cat? Ah, you must be a meow. And then he's in her mind. What is a witch doing here, hmm? Are you connected to Niko Akatsuki? Do not hurt best girl Nemu. Perhaps I'll kill you. Or actually the teacher might still be best girl. Or I do like Kata a lot, but I'm getting distracted. Hey now, why do you get in my way? I can save a st er, Hey now, why do you get in my way? I can save a stray cat if I want to. The war between black and white magic has nothing to do with me. Impudent for a mere familiar. A familiar. And again, like I guessed, is Wolf going to end up being Nemu's familiar at the end of the storyline? I guessed it last time. Oh? And then Nemu eats something and collapses. Wah! Well, oh ho ho, that was merely a breath mint with a little bit extra. Better to have her nap for a time lest she try to interrupt. What, so she turns back when she goes to sleep? Leave the girl here, I'm closing this pocket space for the time being. Now follow the plan as I laid out. Call the dogs to you and have them attack Niko Akatsuki. You take care of the ogre. Finally. I've been looking forward to going toe-to-toe -to -toe with an ogre. Okay, so that means he must not be one himself. Oh ho ho. You're a berserker right out of legend. My werewolf familiar. Okay, so it is werewolf. Or I wonder if it is actually Inugami and they're just translating it to werewolf like they're translating Oni to ogre. So interesting, he is a werewolf then. Morihito's opponent is a werewolf familiar. So again, I totally, I'm on this theory now. I think he's going to end up being Nemu's familiar by the end of the arc. 
I think we're going to get a redemption for Wolf, given that he already did try to save her. So yeah, really, really fun. And moving from one set of werewolves to the next, we're going to go to Hunter's Guild Red Hood. Amazing werewolf to werewolf transition. And we have got Hunter's Guild Red Hood Chapter 5. I am like the most excited for this series that I've been since it started because the end of last chapter was like, like before the end of last chapter, it was just like, okay, he's going to save his village. It feels very like, if it, like I said, it feels really fairy tale like in a lot of ways. It reminds me of that most of all. Um, but man, then the ending came and those villains look so cool and I am so interested in what's going to happen. Also, I did, I mentioned I was going to last video, but I looked up Wolfonium, and Wolfonium is legit written with the Katakana Wolfonium. So, wow, hiccup. So yeah, it is straight up Wolfonium. But the kanji for it is Wolfsteel, even though I know it's supposed to be pronounced Wolfonium. I guess I'm going to be stuck saying Wolfonium, but Wolfsteel is a lot cooler of a name. Honestly, I just don't like the name Wolfonium. My one complaint about this series in the first five chapters, everything else has been amazing. Don't like the name Wolfonium. But either way, moving on to Red Hood Chapter 5. And we have this cool looking witch villain. Like I said, this Captain Komamura-ass giant dude. Uh, let's, uh, let's see what happens. Look at all the bumpkins staring at us. Another werewolf? The art looks... Is this a case of... I know Hero Academia has been like this a few times, and The Promised Neverland was like this a few times, both when the mangaka were like sick or stuff, where they just did like sort of sketchier artwork, and then the fully detailed artwork came out in the volume release. This looks like the simplified sketch artwork. This doesn't look like fully finished artwork. At least compared to the past few chapters, even. So I wonder... Uh, it worries me, though, because if this is happening this early on, it might be really bad timing if the mangaka got sick or something. Because, like, I want this to continue on, but we know that Jump is just happy for canceling series before they get to really start. So this has me worried, actually. Look at all the bumpkins staring at us. Because this doesn't look like the fully finished artwork. Because the artwork was a lot crisper than this in the first couple chapters. Another werewolf. There's a human with it. She's floating in midair. What the heck is that thing? He's way too big to just be any old werewolf. Fellow, run. Take the villagers and go. Grim? Huh? Wait, is that? And then the uh, giant werewolf casts his arm to the side. Villagers, fear not. I've come only to check on my sons. So again, the insanity of what werewolves can be in this series. I'm not hungry at the moment. Like Aon, look over there. Hmm? Well, well, is that Grim of the Hundred Cannons I spy? I don't care why you're here. 616 tools, chain of sapience. All werewolves must die. Your minions are dead. Now it's your turn. A response worthy of Grim of the Hundred Cannons. And he goes for a giant ass punch. Holy hell. All he did was swing his arm and it created the strong wind. And now we have the chain wrapping around a bunch of rubble. She wrapped the chain around the rubble to make a ball. And she brings it down on him. I felt that. Okay. He grabs onto the chain then. Enough buzzing about, little gnat. Jeez. He isn't just big either. Grim. His speed, his toughness, they're all off the charts. He's insanely powerful. And we see Grim withstanding the attack. What? She survived that. I said run, Velo, now. R right, everyone, out of here. They start running. Incredible. What am This just makes me so sad because I'm sure this isn't what the mangaka wanted. A reveal this huge. I really wish it was with like the full detailed artwork. 
because some of these panels are like really unfinished sketch looking. What impressive strength you have. Damn it, time's almost up. Uh oh, what's this? Is your magic s er uh oh, what's this? Is your magic spell about to wear off, Grimsy? Magic spell? Hmm, you aren't the one. I don't smell my sons on you. Oh ho, so it was you, young peach colored boy. Velo, was it? I can smell them on you. The last wisps of my son's souls linger about you. Dodo's regrets in particular cling to your spirit. Proof of a warrior. Ah, there he goes again, says the cute witch girl. I've gotta buy time to er I gotta buy them time to escape, and he grabs a rake. If you're talking, revenge for family. The same goes for me, I'll take you on. Gwahaha, and his laugh pushes him back. You face me with that simple farmer's tool. Bravo, I like you, boy. Killing a werewolf at your tender age is no small feat. Worry not. Out of respect for your bravery, I'll refrain from eating you for now. I'm so excited to learn more about who Lycaon is in this whole werewolf society. Instead, let me wait until you're a warrior grown, and I'll look forward to savoring the taste of your blood then. Like, there's so much potential for the world building here. Hold it. You can't leave. My sons are dead. Let's go home. Uh, already? But I haven't done anything yet. Then let me ask you to light a final bonfire. Cinderella, the Ashen Witch. Alright. A signal pyre for my sons on their journey to Valhalla. At least they, er, they at least deserve that final gesture for falling in glorious battle. Upside down chrysanthemum. And now we have, it looks like, honestly, like an upside down firework, really. And then we have this language, this werewolf language. Ah, this is so cool. There's so much potential for the world building. I hope this doesn't get canned early. Because this world is so cool. We have this werewolf language coming from Lycaon. The Hamlet. It's burning. And like a couple of these bits of the werewolf language. Like one of these looks like. Like a couple of these look like katakana. Like there's one that looks like the hiragana ya. There's a few that look like the katakana sa. And like a few that look like no in katakana. But again, I'm certain it's not like actual Japanese. It's like weird. The Hamlet, it's burning. But maybe there's going to be like an explanation for it in the future. And that's why like some of the symbols, like it's a fake language, but maybe some of the symbols look similar to that because this fake language is going to have the grammatical elements of Japanese. It's burning. I have to put it out. No, you idiot, just run. Hurry and get to the lake. You, too, are direct retainers. Why'd you come way- er, direct retainers again, world building. Why'd you come way out here to check- er, in way out here in person to check on a pair of minor flunkies? That axe, the boy, the werewolves. What, something is up with this hamlet. What are you two really after? What, er, like, never mind that for now, okay? Instead, how about you take a message to the guild? The red list is on the move again. I freaking love Cinderella. I don't know. I have a thing for villain girls. I love Cinderella here. Hunt and kill as many as you want. The red list will just keep getting longer. We want to live too. We aren't going to give up. Someday there will be too many of us for you humans to handle. We have all the people out on the boats. The smoke rising to the moon. With their homes burned to the ground, the villagers had nowhere to live. One by one, they left to find new homes in other places. And that was the end of the hamlet I'd sworn to protect. The mission was another failure. According to our contract, I'll return your fee. Forget it. Kasuka Village is no more. There are a lot of people missing, too. The person who'd manned, er, manned the lookout, for one. I told myself I'd protect them, too. I swore that I would. I'll call for a new hunter and reinforcements immediately. Once the search for the missing is done, I'll leave. Take me with you. I have to go. Number five smoke signal.
Take me to the Hunter's Guild. That's so the best chapter so far. And again, I feel so bad for the mangaka that this had to be sort of unfinished with the artwork because that was an excellent chapter and I can only imagine how much more excellent it would have been if the artwork was at full force. So I can't wait for the volume release. I like legit might buy the volumes of like if Jump wanted to, they could be sly and give like kind of unfinished artwork on the weekly just to get people to buy the volumes more because this makes me legit want to buy the physical volumes to see it. Um, so yeah, either way, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, that is going to be the end of part one and I'm going to record part two right after. So thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe and all that. Follow on Twitter if you want. If you're linked to the Discord server, ask and I'll give you one. And if you would like to help support the channel on Patreon to help me continue making these videos, it is patreon.com slash Haku of the Tubes or a link will be in the description. But either way, that is it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.